Welcome to Only Good Heroes. I'm your host, Lucia Nazaro. And on this show, we are highlighting incredible people and organizations making an impact in their communities and our world during these challenging times. On today's show, I am welcoming Joel Albert. Joel is the founder of Driveway Performances. Joel, thank you so much for being on our show today. Happy to be here. Can you tell us a little bit about your musical background? Because Driveway Performances is all about spreading music, your musical background, and how you came up with Driveway Performances. A uh, quick note on the musical background yeah. is that uh, as, a, as a youngster, uh, I, I played in the school bands, and we had um, a period during our teenhood as a dance band for, for teen dances, and we played weddings and, and all kinds of celebrations. What drove you to create driveway performances? And for those that don't know, we should probably have you explain what driveway performances are. We, we really call them the driveway jazz jam sessions. In January, I wanted to do a music video uh, to celebrate our jazz club's 50th anniversary next year. And I had these grand plans for a music video. And then the pandemic really set in and... At some point, I said, there are a bunch of us who must play to express ourselves. So I, I got together a group of players who were willing to come to my driveway and play. Some neighbors came, I put out a tip jar, we raised some funds for out-of-work musicians, and we, as a group, decided to keep it up. So almost every week, weather depending, we've been getting together in my driveway. Somebody brought a tent, some of them, uh, have driven two and a half hours to get here, another two and a half hours home. Some have a hundred mile round trip. They just want to express themselves and play and at the same time do something good for as many people as we can help. What has been the reaction of people that have listened to you play when they realize what you're doing? Neighbors are enthusiastic and they come and they sit and the weather has been very hot. Uh, they grab some shade under a neighbor's tree and uh, get some cool drinks and they're having a good time. I'm curious, though, how do you select the songs and why jazz? What is it about jazz that moves you? I can't explain it. I, I'm, not, I'm not a classical or symphony player. I love the music, but for me, it's my, my ability and what speaks to me now. And I better specialize in something is the classic traditional jazz, the kind of music that was created and came out of New Orleans and then spilled over, developed, evolved into uh, the blues, to rock and roll, to modern jazz, to bebop, to freestyle jazz, all the forms of jazz. I know that you mentioned um, people have been driving long distances to participate and to play because they want to help. They want to make an impact. When you are playing, what does it mean to you and how do you feel giving back in that way through your music? Well, it's a, it's a kind of a double uh, gratification whammy, if you will, because uh, musicians want to musician so they feel good about playing. <laughs> and at the same time, they know that whatever goes in the tip jar mm -hmm. is gonna help somebody uh, who really needs the help. Where is the money going and how did you select that organization? New Orleans is a, is a major center for, for music and for jazz in, in particular because jazz was invented in New Orleans. Um, so I made some inquiries there and asked if we raised funds, would they see to it that the funds went to the right place? The players who were out of work, they agreed wholeheartedly. And uh, every time there's some, you know, a couple of dollars in the tip jar, 10, 15, $20, it goes to New Orleans and they distribute it. I don't know who gets it. It doesn't matter, but it's, I know it's going to the right place. We would love, and our audience would love to hear how what you're doing and the funds you've raised has made an impact in people's lives. Here's a comment. It says, in such a dark time, it's wonderful to know that there are people willing to share some light. 
Thank you for your gift. You have no idea how much it's appreciated. Another one says, the arts are always the last to recover. As a musician, I thank you for what you're doing to keep some extra funds coming our way. We've said this before on my, on my show, but the arts and artists are so often overlooked, both in the impact that they make on people's lives and um, people don't think necessarily to give to artists during these times, but especially musicians that make their career in live venues, right? Playing night after night after night, they've lost their livelihood as well. So sure. this, this pandemic has had uh, profound effects among all aspects of our society, no question about it. Mm -hmm. And it's the little person who gets hit the hardest. Arts are undervalued. Uh, it's a long way, way to do something that looks like it's easy, but it's only easy because somebody has put a lot of time and effort into it and has such enormous talent mm -hmm. um, that is not always compensated in the way it ought to be compensated. I so here we are with the opportunity to help out a little bit. And I'm so glad that a lot of folks have come together to be able to do that. You're really making such a huge impact with your donations by honoring those people, right? And shining a light into those people's lives during this time. Why do you think it's important for people to go back out and support local music and local musicians? Art is, I think, I'm not articulate enough to say it, but it's the, it's the soul of any society and every society has art and every society has music. Will you keep your driveway performances going? Sure. One of the players said, I wonder why we didn't start this a long time ago. Yeah. And so as long as the weather holds up, uh, you know, <laughs> winter will come. The, the folks, uh, guys and gals plan to plan to keep coming. It's an amenable place. It's convenient. Um, and uh, there's no reason, to, there's no reason not to. We're having a lot of fun. If people want to donate to your GoFundMe page, where can they oh, find you? Google for the E jar, standing for the electronic jar. On behalf of Only Good Heroes um, and all of us here at Only Good TV, we want to make a hundred dollar donation. Oh, um, that's so sweet. To say thank, thank you. Them. That's so unexpected. Yeah. Uh, that yeah. will that will hit us and be zinged. To New Orleans in about a half a millisecond. Thank you very much. That's yep. unexpected and kind. Yeah, thank you for the work you're doing during these times and the joy that you're bringing into people's lives. You're welcome. And for more inspiring stories, make sure to head over to onlygood.tv and you can find us on Instagram at onlygood.tv. We'll be back soon with more Only Good Heroes. Mm -hmm.